Hello and welcome. So in this video, we are going to talk about the lap overview analysis screen in the Z1 analyzer. Uh, this is going to be the first video of a multi-part series uh, which discusses the various um, Z1 analyzer analysis screens. So part of the Z1 analyzer's concept is to help you not only uh, create better setups for your car, but also to improve your performance as a driver. Uh, of all the things that you can do in the car to make that car go faster, the driver and improving the driver is the easiest thing to do and gives you the most gain. So the uh, Z1 analyzer has several analysis screens which work towards this goal. Um, and these are driving line screens, uh, turn analysis, braking screens, uh, and several other ones that we'll go into in future videos. So in this video, we are going to look at the lap overview screen. So right now, I have the Z1 analyzer open. I have two laps loaded, and I'm looking at a basic configuration with uh, the track map and uh, some telemetry. If I click this blue icon right here, it takes me to the lap overview screen. Another way to get to this analysis screen is by going to the analysis menu here and choosing lap overview. So now I have my uh, lap overview screen uh, displayed and I have two laps loaded, this one here on the left and this one here on the right. Uh, it tells you, uh, you know, who drove the lap, uh, what car, uh, the uh, lap time, and the weather conditions if your sim supports uh, weather conditions. So uh, as you can see, the lap on the left uh, was a faster lap, and the lap on the right was a slower lap. So this overview will do some comparison um, between the two laps, and it will also then give you details specific to your actual uh, primary lap, this one on the left. So the, uh, the first thing is the sectors. We have a small little track map here, which shows you uh, the sectors. Uh, and then this little arrow is the start-finish line and the direction that you uh, are driving around the track. So uh, in Lime Rock, uh, for iRacing, there are actually four sectors. Um, and you can see them here, sector one, two, three, and four. And uh, it gives you the lap, the, sorry, the sector times for the first lap and the sector times for the second lap and then uh, the difference. So you can see if you're gaining or losing compared to uh, the other lap. Uh, and as you can see, the, the first lap is uh, the faster lap by far, and it gained in every sector except the first one where it was just slightly slower. Uh, and then you get an overview here of uh, which sectors were faster and which sectors were slower. Uh, most uh, tracks have three sectors. Uh, there are some, like the Nürburgring, where you can have like 15 sectors, uh, but most are three, possibly four. So next, uh, we have speed comparison down here. And this this speed comparison is a uh, shows you how the first lap and the base lap uh, compared on um, straights and uh, in corners. So this gives you an idea of, uh, of setups in some cases. Uh, is one car faster in a straight line? Uh, is one car faster in a corner? Uh, it can also give you an idea of how well you're coming off corners. Because if you're coming off corners which are approximately the same speed, but one car hits a faster top end, um, that could be a downforce issue, or it could just be that you've got a better exit. So it's important to look at this speed comparison and look at it in conjunction with some of the other uh, analysis screens, like the, uh, the turn analysis. So you can see here it's told me that uh, I'm quicker down the straights, and again when it says that you are quicker or you are slower, it's referring to the first lap, um, and then you're comparing that to the base lap. Uh, and then at the bottom here, uh, it says, as your corner speeds are slower, uh, you could be running less downforce, which would result in higher top end speeds. So this is just a uh, generalization, which gives you an idea of what could be a uh, cause for the different either straight line speeds or the corner speeds. So down here, you have uh, brake lockups and ride heights. Now this tells you how many times you locked up the brakes during a lap, and whether or not your car bottomed out during the lap. Uh, and again, this refers to uh, the primary lap here, lap one. Uh, if you had locked up your brakes, it would tell you here under brake lockups, 
And if you had uh, bottomed out uh, at any point, you would uh, be told here as well. And this brake lockups and ride heights, if you look over here, there are uh, more detailed analysis screens that you can look at on, uh, on those. And we'll do another video on brake lockups uh, and ride heights uh, at a later date. So next up is the driving line. This is probably the most important uh, part of the whole analysis, is to show you how you are doing uh, on the track. Because um, it's really important when you're driving to hit your apexes, uh, hit your track out points and your turning points and things like that. Uh, and if you're missing those, even by a little bit, you're losing time and leaving time on the table. So it's really important to check this section out and see um, how you did in each turn. So you get an overview at the top, which in this case it says your driving line is okay, um, but you are making mistakes in several of the turns. So it goes uh, down turn by turn, and on the right you have a uh, track map with the turn being highlighted in red. So here it says, uh, for example, you barely missed the apex of turns one and four. So this is turn one right here, this red part, and this part here is turn four. And then, as I can see in turn three and six, I missed the apex. And in turn five, I was really, really wide at the apex. And then uh, on turn three, I didn't actually quite track out as far as I could have. Um, I left a little bit extra space uh, on the track, which I could have used. So all these things together are really important to getting around the track as fast as possible. So make sure you check out this driving line. Um, and again, there's a driving line analysis screen here, which goes into more detail than you get on this lap overview. So now if we scroll down, I'm uh, using the uh, mouse wheel to do this. The turn analysis. This uh, is similar to the driving line, but does a comparison between the first lap and the base lap. So you can see uh, if you're faster or you're slower, and if so, by how much, uh, and uh, which turns are you either gaining or losing the most on. And that way you can look at both laps uh, and try to combine them into your best possible lap when you actually try uh, driving the track again. So this is a similar layout to uh, the driving line one. On the right, you have the track maps with the highlighted corners that are being discussed. Uh, and it tells you here on the left what you're doing. So you're in this case, you, again, you being the first lap, you're getting the most time in turns two and six. Uh, and then it says here you're gaining between half tenth and two tenths in turn four and five. Uh, and then in turn three, you're about the same speed and you're slightly slower in turn one. So this tells you where you should be focusing when you're looking at uh, either your driving line or um, telemetry traces to determine how can you uh, go faster. Uh, and that's what this is all about. How can you drive the car faster? And this will be without making any setup changes. Uh, the most important thing to do when you're getting into your car and driving the laps is to make sure that you can do a lap consistently every single time within a couple of tenths of all your lap times. So if you're out there doing a 59 second lap and then the next time you do a 57 second lap and then after that you do a 58 second lap, changing the setup in the car is not going to do anything. It's all about making sure you are consistent and that's what these screens are helping you with. You can come and you can see where you are consistent and where you may be um, faster or slower on different laps. So uh, that's what the lap overview is about. And again, this is a huge part of the analyzer, which we hope you use. And we hope you help uh, and we hope makes you a uh, faster and more consistent driver. Because if you can do those same laps every single lap, if your best lap is 57 and you do a 57 every single lap, that's better than having your best lap be at 57, but you only do it once every five laps. So uh, stay tuned for more videos on the analysis screens. Uh, as I mentioned, we're going to do one for each of these down here on the right. And uh, hopefully this has been a useful video. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel.